Welcome to Link Educate, a professional development series featuring interviews with educators and students in the supply chain, where we discuss how supply chain and logistics has changed in terms of recruiting, upskilling, training, and more. My name is Brielle Jekyll, and I'm the associate editor of SDCE and Food Logistics Magazines. And today I'm speaking with Zach Zachariah, who is a PhD associate professor of supply chain management and director for the Center of Supply chain at Lehigh University. We talk about the importance of supply chain resiliency and a lot more. So let's link into that conversation now. Hi, everyone. I'm here with Professor Zach Zachariah, who is the Associate Professor of Supply Chain Management at Lehigh University. Hi, thank you so much for coming on with me today. Thanks very much, Brielle. I really appreciate this opportunity. Yeah, so today we're continuing our Link Educate series. So I want to ask you a couple questions about what it's like to be a professor in the supply chain industry, um, especially at such a crazy time right now. Well, I, you know, supply chain management has become more and more critical, especially as COVID nineteen has you know ravaged the economy. Right. Uh, and and clearly, I've always, obviously, being a professor, have always felt that supply chain management, understanding supply chain management is a critical skill for all business students and even, you know, people who are, are running companies, understanding how to effectively and efficiently get that product delivered to the right customer, you know, at the right price, um, with the right condition, all those kinds of things are really important to succeed in, in, in the economy. Right. Um, I, um, so the first thing I want to ask is kind of, I guess it's, um, we've, we've called it the elephant in the room before, um, because people don't necessarily think of supply chain as something to major in or like a go-to, um, you know, career. Why are students today choosing the supply chain or why should they? Excellent question. Basically what is happening is, is that as you can see that the economy is very much affected by logistics issues, supply chain issues. Do we have enough inventory? Is it going to the right place? Uh, are we distributing the products? Uh, what about the last mile, getting the product right to company's door? Companies that have adapted to e-commerce are doing well. Companies who have not are definitely suffering. So students have started to realize, and you know, the, the words we use about inventory management, lean, uh, just in time, supply chain management are things that have sort of entered the vocabulary um, that people all, all know about these things and discuss these things. Students have realized that there are a lot of jobs in the supply chain industry. So when you have those kinds of growth in, in jobs, then people, students will start to gravitate towards that because companies have started to realize that if they don't have a good, effective, efficient supply chain management process, they're not going to succeed. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I know I, I started, I used to work in um, more retail consumer based news um, and I started in the supply chain in February last year. And then it was like a switch went off and now, you know, the, everyone is interested in the supply chain and it's, it's in the front page news all the time. So it, it was really interesting to see that, that shift so fast. Absolutely. And, and, you know, you have to definitely look, consider that COVID-19 right. really identified the stresses in the system. You know, um, if, if you want to just go back historically, we used to use inventory to protect for mistakes in forecasting, um, mistakes in product development, mistakes in quality, you know, poor supplier relationships. Um, and, and you had inventory. But we found out that a lot of money is being spent and tied up in inventory that might not actually get sold. So, you know, there was that push for getting rid of inventory. The problem though, when you had COVID-19, it revealed some of those problems when you don't have inventory and all of a sudden you have shortages because you have spikes in demand in areas that you just never expected. And so that again, sort of brought supply chain management to the forefront. Right. So I mean, obviously, like like we're saying, it sh the teaching in the supply chain has probably changed quite a bit in the last year. Um, but beyond that, how has the industry evolved since you first started teaching? So I've been uh, a professor uh, since 2001. 
So the difference really uh, in the industry uh, level has been um, more mobile communications and more ability to put things you know, on handheld devices as the information systems capabilities become more and more effective, that you're able to collect all, you know, huge uh, reams of data, huge point of sale data um, that you can actually, uh, you know, you have this idea of big data that, that really is, 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 uh, is an issue. Um, so what's happened is, is that the technology has really taken off and so I'm thinking about what we thought was available and capable, you know, in the early 2000s, the, the level of technology, the, 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 the communication capabilities have all changed the industry. And, and, you know, so when we were talking about hands-free at one time, that was a big revolution. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at a warehouse, you know, everything is managed uh, to uh, a huge level of automation that we just didn't have when, when I started in the industry. Right. Uh, the, the way that automation has changed just even in the last few months has been, or last few years, I mean, has been amazing to watch. Absolutely. What um, advice would you give to today's college students who are majoring in the supply chain? Well, one of the things I always tell students um, is that you need to be aware of what's going on in the economy. You need to make it a practice to read some of the, the, the business journals. You know, I, I read the Wall Street Journal, I read the Financial Times, I also read the New York Times um, headlines, and then I dive in, you know, um, and I look at inbound logistics. I look at some of these other kinds of industry-specific publications because you need to get information. And so I always tell students, make it a practice to just read, you know, the front page of the Wall Street Journal. That's a nice general business information. I know many students would spend time checking out what's happening with, you know, sports figures and entertainment figures and those kinds of things. So I would encourage college students to, um, you know, be informed, be aware of what companies are doing, be aware of what's happening in the economy, because that will also help you in identifying maybe what industry you want to go into. If there's a specific need, uh, it can also help you, you know, look for those opportunities that might fit your interests better. So. One of the basic things, it's all about, you know, getting access to information, read and find out what's going on in the economy so that it'll help you make good decisions. Mm -hmm. Good advice. <laughs> um, what advice would you give those who are graduating and, and now actually entering the supply chain, especially during COVID? So, you know, obviously what I just said about uh, reading uh, obviously plays a role, but I think one of the things that students, you know, I always, and something that has been my personal um, view is, is that I look for not closing doors. In other words, I, I have had students who come to me and say, okay, I do not want to go, you know, west of the Mason-Dixon line, or I do not want to, you know, X. And, and I think that when you're a student, if you get a, if you're working in a company, you need to be willing to do whatever they tell you to do so that you can learn. Your objective is to gain experience in a wide variety of areas because you don't know if that particular task you're doing is going to become redundant or it's going to change. And flexibility is, is a huge thing. I mean, companies, we have all learned that companies that are adaptable, flexible, and resilient the ability to change when something happens, they're the ones that are going to succeed. So I would encourage um, graduating students to have that kind of a mindset that I need to try new things. And I, you know, um, as opposed to, well, I'll make, you know, I cannot do this, I cannot do this, I cannot do that. And you end up with missing out on some opportunities that later on might really leverage back into something that could really make a difference. So. That's why I always tell people, keep as many doors open as possible um, so that it'll get you eventually to where you need to go. So before I let you go, I want to ask you, um, what is your favorite part of the supply chain industry? Now, my background is in, in transportation. I'm a mechanical engineer. It's my undergraduate degree. So I've always been very fascinated with transportation and then obviously distribution. Um, so understanding what's going on in terms of actually delivering 
uh, you know, the last mile, understanding how to, um, you know, companies can, can develop these really good collaborations um, is something that I've, that I've always found interesting and found fascinating. So I see that there's this technology push, you know, right now they're talking about, um, you know, more money is going into unmanned vehicles, you know, cars and, and things like that. Microsoft just invested in, into GM's new, new venture. You've got drones that have just got approved for, uh, you know, under uh, 400 feet. I mean, that just came out this last week. So all these kinds of things are really, really interesting and fascinating to know. And so I, I'm, I'm very much interested in how can we keep on improving in the supply chain? Well, that's great. Thank you so much for coming on and talking uh, with me today. Um, and it's such great insight. Um, I love all your advice for college students and, and those entering the workforce. Well, thanks very much, Brielle. I really appreciate it. And it's good to see that, you know, you've got a, a great uh, magazine and, and that you're dealing with kind of industry kind of topics. And it's these kinds of information. I, I'll definitely encourage my students to subscribe so that uh, they can uh, see what's topical and what's important and what they need to know, you know, for them to succeed in the supply chain industry. Right. Well, thank you again. Have a great day. Thank you. Take care. Thanks for listening. If you like what you hear, please leave a review or hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Next episode, a student will come on to share her perspective as a student during the pandemic. 